trip, I don't trust you, I'm gon' shoot you Beautiful morning, yeah, the sun in my morning, babe Nothing in the water What's up guys, my name is Joe Anglum. If you're new to the channel, I just want to say thank you for clicking on the video. Today's video is going to entail a full upper body workout, as you can see by the title. And I'm going to do a commentary over the workout, but I'm going to be discussing a topic that I think is something you guys can definitely learn a little bit from and kind of just understand a little bit more about nutrition and protein specifically. So. As you can see by the title of the video, it is called, Do I Need to Take Protein Powder? Or something to that effect. Basically what I'm going to be talking about is something that I recently got asked by one of my gym buddies. And he just simply asked me, do I need to take protein powder? Or more specifically, whey protein? Or can I just eat all my protein? And the first thing I wanted to say is, protein powder is nothing more than a supplement. It's a supplement to your diet. Just like if you went to the doctor and you got some blood work done and they told you you had a deficiency or a lack of vitamin C, you would probably take vitamin C and supplement that into your diet. Just like if you are someone who's trying to gain weight, trying to put on muscle, trying to add on strength, and you're lacking in protein, you're not getting enough protein. I normally recommend a gram of protein per pound of body weight. So if you're 150 pounds, I recommend getting 150 grams of protein in daily. But if you're someone who lacks um, either the time, the, um, um, I guess, ability, or is just not a big eater like myself, and it's difficult for you to get that 150 grams in or however many um, grams you need to hit for your body weight, then you need to supplement in your diet some more protein. And that's where protein powders come in. So... With that being said, if you're someone who likes to eat, you're someone who um, doesn't necessarily want to spend the extra money on a protein powder, or your schedule just allows you to always have food on hand, always allows you to um, have the meals when you want to be eating them, you do not need protein powder. You do not need supplements in general. Really, the only reason one would take protein powder, a mass gainer, or something to that effect is if they're lacking the actual nutritional value from their diet itself. And by diet itself, I mean whole foods, not necessarily a protein powder or a mass gainer. So if you are lacking getting those, um, um, getting those specific amount of grams of protein into your diet, then a protein powder might be something um, that could benefit you. One, it's very convenient. Two, it also allows you to kind of, um, I guess, get away from eating just chicken all the time or just the same meats all the time it kind of allows you to get a little bit of protein in but not necessarily have it feel like you're eating chicken non-stop all day every day so if you can afford it I recommend using the protein when needed so for instance if I'm busy all day one day and I know that I'm not gonna get the chance to eat enough to get in 150 grams of protein or 160 grams in my case then I will grab a protein shake. So having that on hand is definitely convenient and it helps me stay on track with my goals even on the days where I am more busy or do not have the time to eat all of my macros. If you're someone who's relying on protein powder, relying on mass gainers to make your progress, you're probably lacking when it comes to your nutrition and probably need to rethink your habits in the kitchen. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please drop a like if you learned something or enjoyed the video, and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Thank you guys once again. Have a great day. Hey, 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 hey.